What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at it with another video for you guys. So listen, I was requested to check out this video. It's called 12 Horror Movies You Have to See in 2019. Now, uh, there's quite a few horror movies that I want to see in 2019. As a matter of fact, one of them comes out next weekend. Okay, Child's Play, all right. Are y'all ready for the Android, Chucky? Come on. That's something new. That's something cool. Then right after that, that weekend after that, uh, we have Annabelle Comes Home. She ain't coming to this home. I know that much. And then uh, we had Chapter 2 of It. Um, I don't know what else is coming out uh, exactly. I mean, those are the movies that I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing. So I can't wait. Um, and then I know, I mean, it's not this year, but I mean, The Conjuring 3, that's coming out uh, next year, I believe. So excited for that. Yada yada. Without any further ado, let's check out this video. Now, this original video is from uh, Looper. So, if you want to check out this uh, original link in uh, their channel, I'll leave the link in the description. Okay. But without any further ado, let's check out this video in about a three, two, one. 2019 is shaping up to be an incredible year for horror films. Oh, yeah, that. Here are some of the intriguing remakes, Alligator sequels movie. to smash hits, and awesome original projects from beloved filmmakers that right, are making their way too. to horror fans. Right. Hereditary was easily one of the most talked about horror films of 2018. Why it's the fuck relentlessly she like that? slow Ugh. building tension and undeniably disturbing images marked it as an assured debut from writer director Ari Aster. Hits for his next film, he'll bed. be moving away from the family homestead and taking a show on the road. In midsummer, we'll go along with a young couple to a festival yeah, in rural Sweden, crazy. laced with bad emotions that turns I even worse when they run afoul of a pagan cult. Is it scary? Asta describes Girl, it as quote, it a dark breakup movie that becomes a horror film, and the trailer is definitely intriguing. Follow ups to rapturously you know, they receive they always got one black always person in this whole off, type of situation. But we have a feeling that Ain't midsummer no way will be a worthy follow up to win. the scariest film of 2018. Sorry. <laughs> you are scary! No, I am not! French director Alexander Adja established his horror bona fide to the surprise 2003 hit High Tension and the 2006 remake of the classic The Hills Have Eyes. In 2019, he's back and teaming up with producer Sam Raimi to bring us Cruel. The film follows a young woman desperately uh -huh. attempting to reach her Big father during a Category song. 5 hurricane. Yeah. To make things worse, she's trapped inside a house which is slowly flooding. Oh, no. Fortunately, she's not alone. She's got a bunch of ravenous killer alligators stopping by to keep her company. Yeah. The film is being fast-tracked for a summer release no, by you. Paramount which took a similar approach last year with John Krasinski's Well Received A Quiet Place. If Kroll's bonkers story and the film's sterling pedigree are any indication, the studio could very well have another gigantic hit on their hands. About to your whole damn leg, peace off, girl. Pizza Hell, in there! Gotcha, 2016's bitch. The Boy was an underrated little thriller. I like that. The story of a young American like woman named Greta who is hired by an eccentric one? English couple to care for their porcelain bitch, doll, Brahms. Greta learns from a local man yeah, that the real Brahms, the, the couple's eight-year-old son, was killed in a house fire decades prior. The odd situation is made even weirder by the fact that the doll seems to have a mind of its own and has a habit of moving around the house when Greta isn't looking. At the conclusion, it it's like revealed that the real Brahms has been alive the whole time, living inside the walls of the house. In the upcoming Brahms, The Boy 2, the man and his his favorite plaything will return for more atmospheric chills. The sequel will see a couple move into Brom's abode with their young son, and this time around, the supernatural angle may not be a fake-out. I don't think it's gonna out. come out this year because I ain't heard shit about William it. Brent so. Bell and writer Stacy I mean, Mania will wrong, return. But... We'll see if Brom's can separate himself from the creepy doll pack when the movie hits screens on July 26th. And the 80s and 90s were a yeah, great time right. for children's horror literature, and if the Goosebumps series wasn't quite freaky oh, enough, God. there was always scary stories to tell in the dark. The short story collections by Alvin Schwartz initially featured the singularly bizarre illustrations of Stephen Gamel, which was such pure nightmare fuel for readers that they were infamously what replaced with hell? toned down versions for later editions. Guillermo del Toro has long been working on adapting the property for the screen, and this year we'll no, finally get to see you. the fruits of his labor. Produced and co-written by Del Toro, the feature will focus on a group of young teens who must solve the mysterious deaths in their small town. Sarah Bellows' book, where the stories write themselves and it all comes alive. In the director's you chair think? is Andre Ovridal, whose features Troll Hunter the and the autopsy of Jane Doe marked him as a talent to watch. With that level of pedigree, the long gestating production looks like a worthy companion for those horrifying drawings oh, that used to keep so many of us up at night. How did they manage It's been to rumored do for that? years and it's finally happening. Zombieland, Just in time tap. for the 10th anniversary of the original Zombieland, Zombieland Double Tap is on the way to deliver more blood-soaked comedic madness. The whole band is getting back together for the long-awaited sequel. 
including director Ruben Fleischer and writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick. In addition, the entirety of the original cast is back on board, including Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, Abigail Breslin, and Jesse Eisenberg. Business is good. The first official synopsis hints at new kinds of zombies as well as a possible human threat. Either way, there doesn't seem to be much reinventing of the wheel here, which should suit fans of the first film just oh, fine. Shit. They've been clamoring for a return to Zombieland for years, and they're finally getting it. Just don't forget the rules. Oh, and why am I alive when everyone around me has turned to meat? It's because of my list of rules. Rule number one for surviving Zombieland, cardio. Oh. Those of us who grew up on the kids' TV network Nickelodeon have fond, if sometimes uncomfortable, memories of the horror anthology series Are You Afraid of the Dark? The show featured a group of teens calling themselves the Midnight Society, who regularly gathered around a campfire in yeah, a secret I heard about place this to show, tell but scary I was too young stories. To see it. Despite the kid friendly concept, more than a few episodes were surprisingly horrifying. The forthcoming film adaptation Ew. will be leaning into the show's darker elements, courtesy of co-writer Gary Dorberman. Best known for his writing on It and, and The right. Nun, Dorberman has said he wants to keep the deeply scary and dark aspects of the original series alive in the film. He elaborated that while the film will still so feature the Midnight Society and the, the campfire setting, he won't be adapting Bell? any episodes but will tell a completely original story. Director DJ Caruso, best known for Triple X or Return of Xander Cage, will helm the film, which drops just in time for Halloween. Oh, mother of her. the characters oh, are deaths at the conclusion of 2005's The Devil's Rejects, fans of Rob Zombie have been pining for the return of mass murderers, Otis, Baby, and Captain oh, yeah, Spaulding ever Rob since. Zombie. It took over a he dozen a years, but in 2018, Zombie confirmed that he'd be bringing the murderous trio back in Three from Hell, concluding the series he started with House of a Thousand Corpses in 2003. The film has wrapped shooting, and Zombie has been screening a teaser trailer for fans at his shows, grainy yeah, images she, of which have found their way online. In a year too. rife with long-awaited horror maybe sequels, Three from movies. Hell may be the longest awaited of them all. The he is hoping movie. Zombie ups the disturbing, gory ante in that special way only he can. Oh, shit. Pretty much every horror fan uh -huh. alive has some degree of reverence for Stanley Kubrick's 1980 Stephen King adaptation, The Shining. Even if King himself was not particularly impressed, King's novel was a highly personal project for him, which is probably that one reason he chose to revisit the, the character Freak of Danny Torrance out. in 2013 with Doctor Sleep. With the King cinematic renaissance in full swing, it seemed like seen only it. a matter Remake. of time before the book would get the big screen <laughs> treatment. Late this year, it's finally happening. At the helm is Mike Flanagan, who directed the well-received King adaptation, Gerald's Game, and or Tenet episodes of The Haunting of Hill House for Netflix. King had great things oh, to God. say about Flanagan's work on Gerald's no, game. Hopefully, the director will turn in an adaptation a bit more to King's liking than the famously eccentric Kubrick was able to. 1997 Spawn is mostly known for sporting some of the most ridiculous CGI 1997 had to offer, but the character what has always been hell? a compelling one. Created by comic artist Todd McFarlane, Al Simmons is a former CIA mercenary whose soul is sent to hell upon his death as punishment for his earthly misdeeds. Yeah. But he's resurrected as a demonic anti-hero Spawn, in order is to atone Michael for his Jai misdeeds White? by wreaking terrible I vengeance on like the criminal it. underworld. In light of the 1997 film's failure, McFarlane himself will be rebooting the character for a new audience. He'll write the script and also they make his feature his debut as a director. McFarlane has had a vision for what the film would be for a long time. In a talk with I Collider in 2017, McFarlane laid out what the film will be like. Yeah, I think that's my. It's going to be a dark, edgy, supernatural, scary, messed up. Movie. With Oscar winner Jamie Foxx in the title role and Jason Blum producing, Spawn will begin shooting in 2019 for a likely release later in the year. Legendary director David Cronenberg's status as a master of body horror was firmly cemented with his 1977 feature, Rabid. The film follows adult film icon Marilyn Chambers as a young woman who undergoes a hideous transformation after an experimental surgery saves her life following a motorcycle accident. Cronenberg's singular visions don't exactly lend themselves to the reboot treatment, but if you're familiar with the work of Jen and Sylvia Sorska, also known as the Twisted Twins, you won't be surprised that they yeah, were willing to give it a shot. Is. With features like 2009's Dead Hooker in a trunk and 2012's oh. deeply strange American Mary under their belts, they'll be taking on an updated version of Rabbit for 2019, one which promises oh, to, at that least, try disgusting. to out weird Cronenberg's original. While it will feature a I few modern twists, before. the source girls will be leading into the gory and suddenly heart of the 1977 damn. film, a you task for which they seem uniquely suited. You? They promise that their version will be modernized through a female perspective, and will honor not only the original but Cronenberg's entire body of work. Apparently, mastery of horror runs on the, the family. Right. Joe Hill, the son of the legendary Stephen King, has made a name for himself as a successful horror writer in his own right, with novels like Horns and Nosferatu, both of which have been adapted for film and television respectively. Among Hill's formidable bibliography are a couple collaborations with his dad. 
One of the short stories that resulted from their collaboration and the tall grass is headed to the small screen this year as a Netflix original film. The story follows a pair of siblings whose cross-country trip takes a turn for the weird when they hear the cries of a young boy emanating from a field. Very quickly, they find out that it's easy to get lost. Writer-director Vincenzo Natali is best known for directing the minor horror classic Cube, and has also recently handled episodes of Luke Cage and Westworld. Adding a touch of horror pedigree is Patrick Wilson, star of The Conjuring films. With a team like that, In the Tall Grass might just end up being another Bird Box type hit for Netflix. 2016's Don't Breathe, the sophomore feature from oh, director yeah, Fede Alvarez, was a claustrophobic a nightmare of the First Order. Oh, it told God. the story of a trio of hoodlums who plan to loot the house of a blind war veteran for the cash he's supposedly hoarding, too. only to find the old guy to be much more capable and sadistic than they were ready for. Veteran character actor Stephen Lang was absolutely terrifying in his role, and even though the film's conclusion didn't exactly seem to be setting up a sequel, Don't Breathe 2 is on the way. Well, this was a pretty good list because uh, I forgot about... Um what was it that uh miss miss something that that new movie that's coming out crawl with the big ass alligators and i ain't seen a rob zombie movie in, in a minute i mean i'm not saying he ain't been making nothing but the last rob zombie movie i've seen was i think it was halloween 2 back in 2009 with danielle harris one of my favorites that shit made me feel type of way like uh her playing annie and shit he sliced and diced her the fuck up and she just bled out on that damn Bathroom flow, that shit make that shit hurt my heart. I remember like it's I know this is a movie, but damn. It's a pretty cool list. Um so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Crawl. Um I might go see that weird ass new movie. It's called Miss Miss Arm or something. I forgot what the fuck it's called. Uh Y'all, somebody let me know in the comments because I forgot. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Please do. Comment below uh what's some movies that you guys are looking forward to seeing this year. Um and let me know if there's anything I can react to for you guys next. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys later on. Taylor Rain, I'm out this day.